What's up guys? We're here in Antalya, Turkey and in this video we're going to show you the best things to do in the area. We're here for about 10 days so we're going to explore everything from the old town to ancient sites um, as well as some really beautiful waterfalls. So I hope you enjoy the video. We are Zach and Ina, full-time digital nomads from the United States and Belgium. We met while studying abroad in 2018 and have been traveling the world together ever since. We're here to inspire your next adventure whether it's hiking in the Canadian Rockies, a road trip through the US, or backpacking across Africa. On our channel, you'll find unfiltered videos of hiking guides and the best things to do in destinations around the world. The 10th best thing to do in Antalya is to visit the Upper Duden Waterfalls. These falls are an oasis of peace and nature located in the bustling city of Antalya. They're about 10 kilometers north of the city center. After paying a small entrance fee, you can see the falls from above, walk in the gorge, and even walk in a hidden cave located behind the waterfall. Another great thing to do in Antalya is to go on a scenic hike. The Tunic Tepe Trail is located right on the outskirts of the city and is about 7 kilometers out and back. The trail starts across the road from the Tunic Tepe Gondola and is very easy to follow as it's basically a dirt road all the way up. It's pretty steep, so we definitely recommend bringing hiking shoes and hiking poles. We have hiking poles from Glimness, which are collapsible and affordable. Find the details of the poles in the description below. The top of the trail offers a bird's eye view of Antalya, as well as the beautiful blue waters and mountains all around. So we made it to the final viewpoint of this trail. You can keep going all the way up to the top there but it's a little bit of bushwhacking and the trail's not really well marked. So if you wanna just come to this final viewpoint, you really just stop at the end of the gravel road and then you can enjoy these beautiful panoramic views over Antalya and the bay. At number eight, we have the Lower Duden Falls. This waterfall is in a different location than the Upper Duden Falls, but both are part of the same underground river. The Lower Duden Falls are located about 8 kilometers to the east of Old Town, right along the coastline. You can access the falls free of charge from the park beside it. However, it's also possible to observe the falls from a boat out at sea. It's the Duden Waterfalls in Antalya and it's really in the middle of the city. It's these waterfalls that flow into the ocean. The seventh best thing to do in Antalya is to watch the sunset. With its year-round good weather, Antalya is the perfect place to see the sun go down. There are many places all around the city that offer breathtaking views of both the ocean and the mountains. Our favorite ones are the Old Town Harbor and Ataturk Park. At number six, we have the ancient city of Aspendos, which is home to the best preserved Roman theater in the Mediterranean. It's located about 40 kilometers to the east of Antalya and is best reached by car or tour bus. The theater is still in use today and is mainly used for concerts and ballets during the summer months. The theater, which was built in the second century, could fit an audience of between 15,000 and 20,000 people. However, Espendos is more than just a theater. You also find ancient ruins of the city, such as an arena, basilica, aqueducts, temples, and streets. Get an audio guide at the entrance and learn all about it. So 
So we're here exploring Espendos, and it's a lot more than just the ancient theater, which is really beautiful, but in the background there's actually this entire Roman city with ruins that you can explore. And one of the most interesting things is these aqueducts, which carried water 19 miles from the Taurus Mountains all the way into the city back in the day. The Korsunlu waterfall ranks number five in Antalya because of its unique color and lush nature around it. It's located about 22 kilometers to the north of Antalya, but it feels much further from the city. The area consists of waterfalls connecting seven ponds and a backdrop of lush pine trees. There's a short hiking trail where you'll be able to see its water flowing downhill and a charming cafe for a small coffee or tea break. The fourth best thing to do in Antalya is to visit the ancient city of Perge, which is located near the Kursunlu waterfalls. It's known as one of the most important cities of the Pamphili civilization, and is believed to have been built in the 12th to 13th centuries BC. However, Perge saw the rise and fall of many other civilizations, like the Romans. Today you can see the remains of the city, such as the column-lined streets, the necropolis, Roman baths, and Greek and Roman gates. We really enjoyed walking around the archaeological site, as it feels like you're truly in a city. We came here now around like 5 o'clock, and there's like no one here, so it's pretty awesome. Like you have everything to yourself if you come later in the day. At number three, we have Cognati Beach. This is one of the two main beaches of Antalya and is located on the western side of the city. The beach itself is made of pebbles instead of sand, with a beach park and numerous bars, cafes, and hotels right beside it. It stretches for nearly seven kilometers, but our favorite part is the eastern end of the beach, right next to the cliffs. It's a lot quieter, and it also has a beautiful viewpoint right above the cliffs. Kanyalti Beach is the perfect place to cool off on a hot summer day. So if you're going to Kanyalti Beach for the day, you can enjoy a nice viewpoint over the beach at this little coffee shop underneath the Turkish flags and you can also enjoy a nice uh, local Turkish black tea. The runner-up activity is to visit the Old Town, which is Antalya's most picturesque place. You'll find narrow cobblestone streets, traditional houses, and a charming city harbor. But besides that, it's also the historic heart of Antalya. It's surrounded by old city walls and home to many ancient sites, such as Hadrian's Gate and the Broken Minaret. The best way to learn about the history of the old town and other things to do is to join a free walking tour. You can find the details in the description below. The best thing to do in Antalya, in our opinion, is to visit the nearby Termesos ruins. Termesos is located in the Taurus Mountains, about 45 minutes outside of Antalya. It's not only one of the best preserved ancient cities in Turkey, but it's also concealed by pine forests and a mountain backdrop. This makes for a more impressive atmosphere than any of the other ancient cities. No excavation work has been done yet, which assures a more real and wild experience. It takes a few hours to walk around, and we recommend going on a day tour with a guide if you can, as there aren't any information boards at the site itself. 
Book a tour of your own in the description below. We climbed up to the tomb of Alcatas. It's actually an easy path to follow and there's no one here, so it's really cool. And afterwards, we're gonna go to the temple and like the more touristic highlights of Termesos. Alright guys, that's it for our video of Antalya. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and make sure you download our free giveaway in the description below as well as subscribe to our channel. Catch you on the next adventure.